off, I want to read to the magical correspondence from my research. Then, I want to give you my personal experience, and I do hope you find this video very insightful for your magical craft. So, without further ado, the magical aspects I have found connected to mistletoe. It is used as protection against lightning, disease, misfortune, fires, and the associated deities are Frigg, slash, aka Frigga, Apollo, Freya, Venus, and Odin. The element is air, and when it is in season, nearly year-round, unless there's some sort of drought or something. <laughs> The type of spell work that you can use for this is protection, love, keeping sickness at bay, luck, fertility, sleep, dreams, banishing. Um, I did find this interesting home and decor, rich, ritual, home and ritual decor, excuse me. And it says here that the distinct tradition for using mistletoe is to hang it on a doorway, in a doorway. So that two lovers can, go. Oh, you already know about that one, I forget, yeah. And, okay, then there was this one. So, burn in your hearth fire or in candles for protection. That is a good one. Um, I would recommend placing it on the fireplace to protect your home and your occupants. Um, another one that I want to suggest personally is, I'm going to actually take it down really quick so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And right here, guys, just give me a second while I grab it. So, um, as a magical practitioner, I have made my own broom. It's not finished, not even close, not even finished. Um, but if you look here at the handle, this is like the handle, it's right up to here, right? So... I have still got to get some more twine and wrap it around from here to here and then do it again all the way up to here. So, but I don't know if you can see, but there's like a big spot here, right? Well, what you could do is for the broom, you can decorate it with herbs and spices after you've did the twine. Effect. And... Um, I will be talking about brooms and their magical uses and what you can use them for. Um, this one is more for decoration and magical purposes. This particular one is made from yarrow, mugwort, and wormwood entirely, completely. And there is some um, peppermint sprigs in here as well. And I have some lavender glued onto the copper wire here. But um, if you are someone who works with a broom and magically wise, I would definitely recommend if you want to do attach it to your actual broom that you use for sweeping, I could I would recommend gluing this the grounded version on the um, actual broom handle, like probably towards the base or towards the half rate on the broom. Cause then you're gonna, you can channel the cleansing to kick out the, it's good for cleansing for sure. Because if it's protecting you, it's gotta get rid of certain entities or anything like that so you're protecting your home by kicking this negative energy out right so that's a really good way to use it the other thing that i would recommend is 
um, when I would recommend burning it. I found it's very useful against any and all like dead spirits. Like if you're wanting to get rid of any poltergeist or stuff, man, this works. Seriously, it works. I was at a hotel, a motel where there was a lot of spiritual activity, right? And uh, when this happened, I was told by someone that I had met to utilize mistletoe, to utilize mistletoe and that it was a good way to uh, get rid of any evil spirits. And it did work, but it, it didn't really last long because it was only a short stick, right? So, like, I, um, it didn't, and let's just say it backward because it wasn't enough mistletoe to get rid of the, the, in the, the inner entities, excuse me. So, um, now for my personal experience. So, personally, I have worked with this with deities such as Frigga, Freya, as of course I stated, but I found some Runios, I hope I'm saying his name right, it's the Stag God, the Celtic Stag God, Serenios, I think is how you say his name, um, I have used this for him, and um, more dedication, anything, just showing my love and affection to him, and I feel like he appreciates appreciates the gesture more than the earth. Um, I would recommend doing this if you're wanting to show your love and your dedication to your deities. Just sprinkle a few and say, I love and dedicate myself to you. And I think they're going to understand the gesture. Um, let's see. There are some other experiences. I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. Um, you can use this in, a, in an oil if you want. You can like use olive oil and use mix this with, if you're wanting to do a, a, a love spell, you can use this one with, it's just mistletoe. Um, I would recommend if you're wanting gentler love, rose petals. But if you're wanting, like, lustful sexual stuff, definitely hibiscus. Um, I found that when working with this, it's very eerie, right? And then with cinnamon, that's fire. I found that the two of these individually, they work good for prosperity, but when I've combined them together, because fire and air, um, <clears throat> air breeds more fire, right? And so like those two, I definitely would work to get well together. I would definitely suggest if you're doing a prosperity spell, one that is for prosperity, abundance, success, and all its shapes and forms, I'd recommend using Cinnamon and mistletoe, definitely for sure. Let's see. There's some other stuff that I want to go over, but it's not really coming to me because sometimes I double check my notes because I'm pretty sure I had some other stuff. Yeah. Well, that seems to be it on the agenda. Well, seeing as it's only nine minutes, I am going to uh, continue talking for a few more minutes, and then I'm going to wrap it up. So, now, I want to say that the goddess Hecate seems, I, I feel like this, this mistletoe is also not deeply connected, but I feel like Hecate has some sort of particular connection to mistletoe. I really do. Because she's been kind of guiding me to put it on her altar space. Actually, I gotta clean up her altar space. <laughs> and um, 
So, yeah, I feel like energetically she is somehow connected. Now, I feel like uh, because it is a herb to protect against witchcraft, seeing as goddess, the Hecate is the goddess of witchcraft, I feel like this is more of like protecting witches. This is like a good charm. If you're a witch and you're trying to protect yourself from other witches that want to cause you harm, I'd recommend making a satchel with this. And if you're into the uh, goddess Hecate and you devote your time to her like I do, I'd recommend revolving it around her and around you. Like, put some personal items of yourself and some stuff that are connected to the goddess. Like, garlic rinds or garlic, it's, it's dried garlic itself. Um, maybe um, add in some green onions and, like, the green part. And, um... Uh, just trying to think... Add some rose petals, mugwort, and then a black tourmaline and a smoky black quartz in there as well with the amethyst or rose quartz to tilt this love for yourself and the confidence in yourself that is going to work. And then the amethyst uh, for that mental, psychic, energetic barrier, but also mentally knowing that this is going to work. And, um... Maybe add a copper and some selenite in there as well, just to conduct the energy and amplify the energy. And uh, put it in a black sachet and wear it around your neck, you know. That's a good way to use this particular um, mistletoe for protecting against evil. Now, all of that, like I said, was just on the spot. Now, that's how I am. I usually do things on the spot, you know. Anyway. So, with that being said, I hope that this mistletoe video was informative. I know we talked about the using it in sachets and... Oh, I almost forgot. There was some other stuff that I didn't put down. Candles. What candles would be good for mistletoe? And I actually wanted to go over this. So, yellow is a good one. Because it is the sun god. It is connected to the sun god Apollo. So you can put mistletoe around that as well. You can use the pink one for love. Or for any love goddess. So yes, you can use pink. Red for more of that passion and that lustful sense. When it comes to that. You can use it with green. For prosperity, wealth, abundance. And the growth of prosperity and abundance. So, just trying to think. Oh, you can use it for white and for black. White, so that way, <clears throat> for example, say you're invoking the white light or asking the candle to shed its white light into to permeate your surroundings, right? Well, you can use that. And that permeation, as you're putting the mistletoe around it, you ask that the white light introduce this mistletoe spirit into the light. Introduce it and let it allow it to permeate in its white light. So it's like working together, right? Um, I'm actually going to do a sachet and a candle working later today for... Um, with the mistletoe, because I that actually is a really good idea. Glad I thought of it. <laughs> um, and I say a black because um, you can set the intention that this black candle permeates its black, like because black is the absorption of all things, right? So you can set an intention for the black candle to attune your home to absorb all the negativity. Um, and then you could do another ritual after you do the purification and cleansing and banishing the evil energy. You could do another black candle and just say that you put the intention that my house is going to absorb the spirit of mistletoe. Like it's going to become the energy of the mistletoe spirit for protectional purposes, for prosperity purposes. So you're basically with the black candle, you're imagining your house. Uh, like, as black absorbs all color, you're imagining 
the house doing the same thing, it's, but it's only absorbing the frequently energy of the mistletoe. So you can do that. And as um, mistletoe is for good for protection, you can like put that around a black candle or on the sides of the black candle and say this is um, attuned to protect against all evil spirits. Let it absorb all the negative energy, all the negative spirits, and then, um, like, you know, um, how do I put this? I want to make sure I'm putting this right. So it's like you absorb all the negative spirits and then ask the mistletoe as it's melting the wax with the wax, you're protecting me against all these evil spirits. So... But with that being said, and without further ado, I love you guys very much. Thank you for uh, being a part of this ch uh, channel. Um, feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you like our family, Soul Family's Vibes. Um, with that being said, much love. Namaste. Remember, you guys are brave, beautiful, courageous handsome, sexy, powerful shamans, warriors, healers, and all that in a bag of chips. Blessings. Kisses.